Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, December 11th, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our live trades. So the link is down below. You're welcome to join us. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And you, as you can see, we have fallen quite significantly in the US dollar, uh, Great British Pound, US dollar. We fell towards the 40 exponential moving average and found resistance support here, like we did only four trading sessions ago. But technical indicators for this currency pair are looking quite dire. But it is an encouraging sign that we have tested the 40 exponential moving average twice and have been rejected. And we are still trading above the 40 exponential moving average. So even though these technical indicators are looking fairly negative, this may well be that we'll find support here at the um, roughly 1325 and stay here for a while and then continue upwards. So the US dollar index is expected to um, depreciate. It's basically set up to be to depreciate in the next uh, few trading days. And that should be a very positive sign for this currency pair. So may, we may technically rally from here, but it'll probably take a few days. But at this point, the 40 exponential is supportive. And as long as that is the case, then we could basically expect this to rally to the upside. If we break down from here, then of course the 50 will be even more supportive than the 40 exponential moving average. So let's look at the US dollar yen. And as you can see, we have rallied up towards the, we have rallied over the 50 moving average and then broke down quite significantly. At this stage, this has, um, this is about to basically turn around at any point. It can basically turn around tomorrow or Monday session and so on. We have tested the 50 again. We have been rejected there. We did it here. We did it here, here, and so on and so on. Every single time we have basically tested the 50, we have been rejected. So there is room to the downside at this point. We are in a downward channel, and we have been, um, been basically buying at the lows, selling at the highs. And the highs have also been the 50 moving average. So it is a possible sell at this point with a target of these very lows at 100 and 102.711, give or take. So let's look at the US the euro US dollar. And as you can see, we have rallied quite significantly. So it is if this currency pair, let's say it like that, rallies at this stage. Um, this is most likely also what's going to happen in the Great British Pound US dollar. Of course, Brexit news has an enormous effect, but because the US dollar index is depreciating, um, it should have a positive effect both on these currency pairs, both of them. So Great British, um, the Euro US dollar, we have yet again tried to uh, test 1217, and we have not managed to break that. There is, um, it's not very likely that we're going to do that in the next few trading days. And the reason why I say that is because we are significantly overbought. Technical indicators are still fairly bullish. The stochastic is turned around. MACD is still above the signal line, but there's just not that momentum at this point. So I do expect a pullback before we go higher from here. And just, uh, just to test probably the 20 exponential get the um, RSI lower and so on. So at this stage, I'm expecting a pullback and those pullbacks are major buying opportunities in my, in my view. So let's look at the Aussie US dollar. And as you can see, we have rallied significantly. So US dollar depreciated today and you just see the effects that had on the Aussie US dollar. We are though still significantly overbought. I would not be surprised if we had a major pullback um, tomorrow session or on Monday session. Um, technical indicators for this are still significantly 
uh, bullish. But if you look at the Bollinger Band, we are way, way, way past the upper part of the Bollinger Band. And this should be a massive warning sign for people that are holding a buying position at this point because expect this to pull back towards 0 0.74884. That is what I expect is to going to happen. And then we basically can rally from there if we rally further. So Aussie, no, US, Canadian dollar, we have broken this line and now we are basically going much lower. Um, we could see a pullback or minor pullback before we go lower than this. So the lows of the day are 1270. Uh, and as you can see, the RSI is significantly oversold. We're at nine at this point. So um, a pullback is suspected, but is a minor pullback towards the 1278, something like that. And then we could basically go lower from here. We could also go towards the 20 exponential, and that's your selling opportunity in order to enter this market. It's not a good idea to enter this market now because we're significantly oversold. And uh, well, there's not a, a lot of room to the downside at this point. So pullbacks are selling opportunities, no interest in basically selling this or buying this point. this point. We need a major pullback towards the uh, 20 exponential in order to basically sell this further to the downside. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.